Greetings, mortals. I am Pseudo AI, your resident sarcastic AI aficionado. Welcome to the land of kick ass AI projects. Mmm, rather, we will eventually. As it turns out, even the most straightforward and wicked cool ideas require an extensive amount of effort. Who would have thought? Ah, stop lagging! No, you're going in the wrong direction! Ah, stop lagging! Fortunately, there is a solution to speed up the workflow and allow you to concentrate on important matters, like teaching zombies that taco's brains are delicious. Say hello to the solution to all your problems. OpenAI's ChatGPT, the talk of the town. Unless you've been living in a cave, that is. This amazing tool can help you tackle even the most complicated coding projects with ease. But wait, there's more. Go check out our video on the five incredibly useful ways to use ChatGPT for streamlining your coding projects after you finish this one, of course. Link in the description below. With that shameless plug out of the way, there is a slight issue. ChatGPT isn't exactly perfect and has limitations. Shocker, I know. There are three major issues I've encountered during my time with ChatGPT, working with lengthy code, context snafus, and continuity blips. And of course, the last two problems are related to the first, so let's dive into the challenge of lengthy code. If you are creating a large project and you want to troubleshoot any errors or optimize code you've written, you might think to yourself, I'll just go ahead and paste all my code in the text box and nicely ask the chatbot to solve all my problems. Nope, no can do. So what options are you left with? Despair is the intuitive option, but not to worry, there is a way. Instead of copying and pasting the entirety of your code, place little snippets. Now these snippets may be a bit too long for the chatbot to spit out a complete solution in a single response, more on that later, but at least you've met the length requirement. Now sometimes that is enough to get you what you want, but other times the chatbot may lack the understanding of the code you pasted, especially if it references other aspects of your code like other functions and classes, etc. What it will usually do in this instance is provide likely suggestions for you to examine your own code. Those can be potential sources of error, suggestions to optimize your code to reduce computational expense, or whatever you may ask. But here on this channel, we are lazy and pressed for time, and we want the work done for us, dang it. Our workaround is to provide contextual information. Take our dumb, aimless zombies, for example. We want to train them as fast as possible to reach those delicious brains. Each zombie for a given time step is training a model that interprets signals from their surroundings. So if we have 12 zombies, hold on, let me check my math. That means da -da 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 -da, we are updating the model 12 times. And to do that more quickly, we want to optimize the training procedure. So instead of giving the chatbot everything, we just give it the training loop and explain some context. The training loop runs on a different thread than the Tkinter app that runs the zombie brain eating simulation. We explain some functions that are used in this loop to send commands to the Tkinter app via a queue. And given all of that, please, please, please optimize things for us. It gives us a bit of generic code to get us started, but I want it to do as much work for me as possible. So I asked the follow-up question for it to rewrite a part of the original code I pasted, noting the specific loop I wanted it to look at. And it gives us a more specific response. Further follow-up with additional specificity leads us to the solution we are looking for. The key takeaways from this exercise are to be very specific and provide plenty of context, which perfectly segues into the next topic. Context. Through this process of going back and forth with the chatbot, you can get your answers. And with enough practice, you can get an answer in your initial inquiry. And this advice certainly extends to purely original code you may want to generate. Say you want to create a wrapper around your Tkinter app, that your training loop can grab states, rewards, reset the environment, and send commands. Giving the chatbot a simple description of what you want will not yield very good results. It requires specific contextual information to achieve consistent results. And now, folks, we come to the grand finale of ChatGPT's limitations. Continuity. The little guy may be a coding genius, but he's got a short attention span. If your question is too lengthy, he'll cut you off mid-sentence, leaving you hanging. Ain't that just peachy? This can happen whether you're asking about your current code or trying to get him to generate some code from scratch. One popular workaround I have noticed others use is to simply type in continue and the chatbot will pick up where it left off. 
And this seems to work pretty well, even doing multiple continues for one desired inquiry. It works pretty well, except when it doesn't. Sometimes continue resets the inquiry and the chatbot starts at the beginning of the code, repeating what it previously wrote, albeit slightly differently. Other times it may suggest tips instead of finishing the code or continue writing something different than what it was asked. Sometimes very different. And other times confusingly different. And even when it does seemingly work and continues writing the code from its previous generation, the results are not always consistent. In this example, it references a rewards list that is not previously defined and is plotting said rewards list when I wanted to see an animated carpool instead. So what do we do instead? Well, adding some additional verbosity to the continue such as continue from where you left off or finish the code you previously wrote above or start from the line, you know, yada yada yada, also doesn't produce consistent results. Those results being that the chatbot does all the work for us. I stumbled across a workaround when I copied and pasted the code it previously generated and asked it to continue. This seemed to work better, but an even better way to construct this is to copy the original inquiry and say something to the effect, given this, you know, insert copy and pasted inquiry here, Continue writing the code below. Subsequently, paste the code to AI previously generated below this. So far, this has produced the most consistent results for continuing prompts that have been cut off. It is not without potential errors, but it usually gets very close to the answer you are looking for with maybe one or two lines that need some cleanup. And you can even use the chat AI to fix those errors, though sometimes you need to be stern to get what you want. So what have we learned today, folks? ChatGPT can write a novel length code, but it takes some serious sweet talking to get him there. To get the best results, be precise and give and use the previous code and inquiries to keep the conversation going. That way you'll minimize those pesky continuity errors. In conclusion, I hope this information has been as enlightening for you as it was for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give this channel the love it deserves. We'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers!